Weber's Post, is which on is fire? on. Where's Weber's Post, Oliver? Oh, Weber's Post. Exmoor. Uh, Oliver wants to do a late night forest walk, so we're going to go and scare the crap out of him and hopefully we'll do some photography in the meantime. Is that a train or smoke? Uh, it's smoke, it's a fire. I don't know what it is. Anyway, bear with us and we'll be back when we get there. Why right. is this all We've just arrived yep. and Oliver's first words were... <laughs> We've got the worst van ever. I said here. You put the worst. We got the van worst van. There's loads of people here. It's cool. Good evening, everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, he's behind me, I haven't lost him, and he's already scared. No! <laughs> right, um, we're kind of not going to get sunset because the, sun, the sun's up behind the hill. Um, so what I've done, I've just set up, I've got the hills, let me turn you around a minute. So I've kind of set up um, that's my focal point top of this hill and i'm kind of running it through i've got half the sky i've got these lovely clouds which are probably blown out at the moment there you are look they're going to turn red in a minute i'm waiting for the sun to go down um i've missed the best of the light but i'm hoping when the sun sets it will turn all these clouds red and we'll get a nice beautiful and we'll get shot. a nice beautiful shot compositionally wise it's, it's quite difficult you've, you've got the curves of the hills um, and you've got this sort of that leads into there, but that, that's about it. Um, so we're just out fire and wait for the clouds to turn. Uh, uh, he's here. <laughs> right, so far I've done uh, auto exposure bracket. So three shots, let the camera do its thing in different different settings. I've also done a pano, um, six shot pano, uh, one sixtieth of a second, F9, ISO 640. Um, it's actually quite dimpsy. Um, I sort of started, turn you around a minute, sort of started here as a, as a tree there. So I've, I've cut the edge off there. Um, I've started here and just come across with six shots to about there. Hopefully we'll get some beautiful pink skies in there. Um, that's about it for now, I think. I'll put those up. <laughs> So, van life. We have just been for a walk. He's pooped himself, and we are back in the van. Luckily. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Mm -hmm. It's not even dark. Um. Anyway, right. It's movie time in Henry the Cinema. So. Mm. Good morning, and welcome to Sunday. <laughs> Mr. Sleepyhead is there. Uh, we slept well. No, we didn't. Um, no, we didn't. He was fighting all night. No, it wasn't you. And I don't know what. You... Oh, got a fly on the screen. Pain in the ass. Um, and he is like a little starfish in the van. I felt like Bruce Lee's punch pad last night too. Um. Come for a walk in the woods, snapped off a few shots of the light breaking through the trees and stuff this morning. Um, nothing special, I'm not here to concentrate on that. I'm here for him. The experience van life. Um, so yeah, a bit of a walk, back to the van, bit of breakfast, and we'll see where we go from there. I'll put all the um I'll put all the settings up. I'll put some photos up now of what I've just done this morning and I'll put the settings in a little bar underneath them for you.
interview with Oliver. What do you think of wild camping? Scary. Why is it scary? Because. Because what? We need a reason. Because you scared me. <laughs> we went for a late night walk last night and I don't think he was too keen on it. But what is quite magical is if you take your kids to places like this, is to step out into the dark skies and look up at the stars. Because um, that was pretty cool last night, wasn't it? Well, it was quite light last night, wasn't it? Because we had a... I think the full moon was the previous night to last night. Um, but, I mean, what was it? 96% full, I expect. So that lit the sky up pretty well. And it's really busy here. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five other vans here last night. So there's a little bit of comfort in that. Um, safety in numbers and all that. It's better than being on your own. Um, but we've woke up to beautiful weather. Um, we've been in the forest, snapped off a few photos. I'll put, I've, I've already put them up, so I hope you enjoyed them. Um, having breakfast, see what the time is, and see where we go from there. <laughs> Hey, uh, so we've just come down to Horner Woods for just a little walk um, and I want to get some nice water shots as well. Uh, there's one place in particular I like here, it's still beautifully green. Um, that's my son chucking stones in the water. So what have we got? So I've got this scene here looking from there. My little focal point is on the rock and up in the upper third is where my river starts to run through. I've got all this beautiful water coming off here. Um, it's not perfect because the river is so empty. Um, this this river is normally running really, really fast. Um, I mentioned Horner Woods in my last video. And seriously, if you haven't been, come. It, it's such a it's an ancient oak woodland, and there's a little tea room shop, and it's it's got the best cream tea and scones, honestly. Um, currently I've done a all my exposure bracket shot I've never done one with water flow so we'll see how that turns out um, and then I'm currently at F9 ISO 50 and I've got the variable filter on uh, ND32 it's giving me a 10 second shutter speed which is really good so I'm just going to fiddle with air do some different shutter speeds and see what gives me the best sort of little water effect coming down through all these stones um, there's a little bit of wind so you've got to be careful because the branches are going to move in your shot so you want to be wary of that but I've cut I've cut most of that down um, so we should be all right little song and dance you'd like to do for us all. No. Off we go. I don't have Go on, you seem to want to sing it for everybody else. No, I don't. Come on. I don't have anything to say. No, nothing to say. He's got nothing to say. Welcome back to Peter 16 Fleck and Popper Photography. <laughs> Dad. Popper. Dad. Popper. My name is Dad. Popper. <laughs> You're a plonker. this time it was about getting him out the wild camping and just just being wild you know away from the TVs and the computers and 
couple of the water shots I did. I did I did the first shot at a fast shutter speed to freeze all the trees and then I've done a, a slow shutter speed to get that, that beautiful water motion so I'll blend those together in, in post put them up um, but we've had a good time um, and I'm sure there will be more times to come um, so give us a like subscribe and comment always always pleased to hear if anybody's got you know constructive criticism or you know any ideas of where to go and where to stay in different places but yeah give us a follow give us a subscribe and hit that bell notification as well because that'll tell you when I've put uh, more videos up um, and go and have a look at my other videos if you're interested in photography if you're just starting out um, I've been in it three years now and it gets me out and I love what I do it's it's an amazing little hobby it's a bit more difficult with Oliver around um, he hasn't got the patience of a long exposure um, but we had a good time it was good it was cool and we will do it loads more but like subscribe and comment and we will see you soon for another adventure cheers